why pens with inner metal parts can't be eyedroppered uh, or converted to eyedropper. I get asked this a lot, you know, and man, I swear it's the funniest thing. Whenever I meet with a distributor or manufacturer and they show a new pen, literally the first question that we look at uh, is if, you know, they give us the information, okay, all this kind of stuff. Yes, price, color, availability, all that kind of stuff. But the first like kind of oddball question that's not part of standard fare that we always ask at Goulet is, can this pen be eyedroppered? Unless it's like completely obvious that it can't. Um, but we're like, hey, is this pen eyedropper convertible? And they're always like, oh, I don't know. No one ever asked that. And it's literally like we get asked this so much that it's just, you know, if we don't have that information firsthand, it's one of the first things that we test whenever we get a new pen in. Sometimes we get an announcement of a new pen. We don't actually get it until we, or we don't actually see the pen for ourselves until it arrives. Like, it's amazing that you would think like, wow, a retailer would carry a pen without even having held it first. Sometimes, yeah, we don't have a choice. It's very limited production, especially if it's a limited edition kind of thing. Um, it's very limited in production and, you know, it's going to come and go and be gone and, and literally like you'd be amazed. This is a little peeking behind the curtain a little bit on the retailer side of things. But sometimes we have manufacturers that reach out to us and they're like, hey, this pen has been announced. It's coming. Um, there's only going to be so many of them. Um, and we need your order by this afternoon. And uh, other than that, they're going to be gone. So it's like if we want to even have a chance to have it, um, we have to place an order kind of sight unseen. So we have to really make educated guesses about how we think they're going to do. And then once the pen actually arrives to us, it's like a scramble to be like, how much does this pen weigh? Is it eyedropper convertible? Is it da 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 da, -da? Can you swap nibs with anything? Because like none of that information, I mean the weight, yeah, but none of that information about like how it's used and can you swap the materials and is the feed removable and all this kind of stuff, none of that is like standard information that's given to us from suppliers and manufacturers and stuff like that. It's all like super deep knowledge that, that we always try to acquire because you all ask us about it a lot. So um, anyway, all that to say, Specifically here, if a pen has inner metal parts, we don't always know if it has inner metal parts because if it's a new pen that comes out, we literally have to like open it up and be like, oh, okay, like the customer Yurushi, it's a big pen. You're like, oh, is this thing eyedropper convertible? Let me ask. Some of you might already be thinking that just from me talking about it earlier today. Um, and I look at it and I go, oh, boom, metal section right there, not eyedropper. And it's like immediately killer, right? Or I look in here and I kind of look in the back and I'm like, oh, I'm seeing some shiny stuff back there. And you know, pretty much anything that has a finial that has a separate kind of like trim piece or something like that, you can assume you might have some problems uh, eyedropper converting it because this is a separate piece here. Like the finial is a separate piece. It fits into the barrel that has the trim ring. So the trim ring is very thin. It fits over top of the piece that fits into the back of the finial. Like I can just tell you, I haven't taken this pen apart, but I know that's how it works. And I look in here and I can even see like, oh, okay, there's a notch right there. So there's a metal piece that um, that screws in. That's how this finial fits into the back. And that's what's going on. Um, so yeah, there's metal parts back there that I can see. And then the most obvious that you get is metal um, sections right here. And they use metal in pens because it's very sturdy. It's very durable. But eyedropper convertibility is not universally worldwide like a deal breaker. So not all manufacturers care about that or do it or even test for that. It's very much like a hack, right? Some, some do that. Some design their pens. Noodlers, for example, designs all their pens to be eyedropper convertible, et cetera, et cetera. Not everybody does that. So like, for example, the customer Yurushi, not eyedropper convertible. Why? Well, it's got metal parts. Now I'm actually getting to answering your question here. Why is that a big deal? Who cares? It's got metal parts, whatever. Metal, metal's durable, metal can get wet. Well, the thing is, um, yes, that's technically true. And for the short term, you would be fine. However, you're dealing with ink. There are a few components to ink and ink formulas can be very different. Um, but uh, largely you're dealing with metals here that uh, will corrode over time. Um, specifically with the ink, you know, some of the components of ink is salinity, so there's salt in there, and you deal with some possibly acidity, sometimes basic. Um, it depends on the ink, and they don't really provide that information. Um, so you deal with things that if it's directly dealing with corrosive metal, um, that can be a problem. Um, you know, for example, if you have brass or aluminum parts inside your pen, you're just not going to be able to do it because what's going to happen is going to corrode the metal, which of course is going to degrade the quality of the metal itself, but it's basically going to rust and oxidize and flake off and provide flakes of metal crap in your ink that's then flowing through your pen. That's not going to be good. So you don't want that. Long term, it's just not going to be good. Yes, if you're in a pinch for some reason and you say, this is going to be a preposterous situation. Say I'm on a business trip 
And this is the only pen that I can get a hold of. And I've lost my converter or it breaks. And I, I just have to take notes for my next meeting. And my phone died and there's no other pen around. Uh, and I want to eyedropper fill this pen. Yeah, I can do that once. It's even got a little O-ring on here that fits on here. So um, it's tempting. Um, yes, I could eyedropper fill it. I could use this pen just fine for you know a week or two or whatever. But if I use this for two years, eyedropper converted, I'm going to get pitting and corrosion. It's going to degrade the quality. And I would not want to do that with a pen that's expensive. Um, so you don't want to be in a practice of doing that on a pen that has metal parts. And that is why.